welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. This is my deadwood stove. It's not just any rocket stove, it's a rocket stove that I've been using for more than five years. And it really works great. I have to, I have to tell you, I think honestly, um, this is the best, this one, this particular rocket stove, the deadwood stove, is the best invention since a Dutch oven for cooking and camping and doing things in the outdoors. It just really works wonderfully. And what I'm doing right now is I've got a steak that I'm wanting to put up there on the grill. And I want those flames to, to burn down just a little bit. So that it'll be ready to go. I think we're just about getting there. And I'll just put my steak right up there on the grill and cook it. But what I want to say is that, you know, there are imported crockery rocket stoves and things like that. And I've seen a bunch of different designs. I think this is by far the best design and the most utilitarian, the most indestructible. I think I said in one other video some time ago that it's like a tank. You know, the other thing that's important right now, the ground it's on is uneven. The legs are adjustable. So... I'm just really happy with it. Let's see if we can get that steak up on there. I'll probably drop it in the dirt, far from the course, huh? There we go. Just put that right there on that grill. And let her cook. Anyway, the point of this video really is not to talk about my container cabin behind me, not to talk about bushcraft or frugal bushcraft or simple living. It's just to point out that I'm very happy with this product right here. I've had this stove and have been using it now for for over five years and it's given me a lot of good joy. It's simple and I might add I picked this up about three feet from where I'm sitting now. It was just laying on the ground and fuel is everywhere. There's lots of fuel. Another piece right here. Now, I don't want to burn it, that's for sure. But this is just fuel that I picked up just nearby. I also want to tell you that I, I, I do have apple, which is what I started with before. Let me turn this over. Boy, that's cooking up real nice. <coughs> but I, oh, some years ago I took these milk cartons and I just made containers of wood like this that I could use in the dead wood stove and it worked really, really well. But the bottom line is, you can burn anything in it. I mean, right now I'm burning some sticks that were three feet from my chair when I sat down. And, oh, that one's not going to break, so I'll just stick it in here and let it, let it do that. There we go. Well, if, you, uh, if you're looking for a fun way to cook your food in the outdoors um, that's pretty safe, if you like fire, I like to cook with fire, and this creates fire, and yet I'm in a forestry environment here, I can control the fire. This is a great way for kids to learn how to cook on open fire, and I just really can't say enough good about it. It's a simple thing. Sometimes simple things are best. So, again, if you're interested, you might check out Dead, Deadwood Stove. I think they're on the internet. But I'm not, I don't get a commission from them. I, in fact, I haven't communicate, communicated with them for years. But I do know this is a great, a great way to cook my food in the, in the outdoors. And, you know, in an emergency situation, an earthquake, or all of a sudden you don't have the normal things that you have in life, and you need a way to boil water so it's safe, even something like that. So for a bug out situation, that would be good too. And I think my steak's almost done. It's looking good. I think it's time for me to have dinner. So I'm going to put that down there, right there. 
and I'm going to wish you well. I hope that uh, your time in, in the outdoors is a good one. Today is Memorial Day, so I've got my poppy up here on my suspenders. And uh, be thankful for the things you have. Live a simple life and don't become a slave to the bank. Thanks so much for listening. Take care. Love to hear from you. I'm going to eat steak.